for crying out loud, you know. I'm just gonna kind of get out, try to try to have a good time, let out a couple couple laughs, you know. Here comes Bonnaroo. She wanted the XT 250, and that comes with a couple of sacrifices. She needed the clutch to be lighter. We first decided to put some slack in it, you know, get it closer, and uh, which kind of sucked. So we, we did some research, and we decided to uh, take some of the preload off of the clutch springs. And we're terrified and we're thankful. We're stoked and we're scared. All the things, but we're elated. We are living, I guess, best way to put it. Welcome to 690 ADB, 690 Garage. Here's my son, Zane Thomas Johnson, one of the key players in this whole gig. you'll be the first to know or I'll be the first to know we'll probably find it at the same time if it works or not oil she'll start with removing the oil filter here the tools you will need this sexy little L right here gotta love it L it's a 5 mil hex oil cover we need a 12 mil wrench but that will do my hickey. Then you'll want to remove these bolts. Now here's the thing about removing these bolts. They're eight millimeter bolts. Always, of course, make sure that it's so vital that you understand that this metal is softer than this metal. Because it is steel. This is uh, like a pop metal almost. I'm just a better name. I'm not very, my metal allerginess is weak. So this metal, will always be this metal. So if you put this in to here incorrectly, you will ruin this part. Or even worse, you won't ruin this part. You'll ruin the tap part, which is the actual block. You do not want to do that. That is a whole nother process. You run the risk of piercing something in the motor. Do not risk it. You will not remember what each length bolt and which one it goes into. You will not. Please have a method. Which I'm going to do here, I'm going to draw this configuration on here, drill little holes, and that way I know for a fact that my uh, bolts are going back into the correct hole. We have, whoa, <laughs> I'm busting my boots. I drew out something that I will understand to be that, and I have drilled a hole and numbered each place, so as each bolt comes out, it'll go into its respective hole. No, you have to get it right. It's vital. And that would be A. When you go to take the case cover off, it's very well made. The surfaces have been mated for years. They're gonna want to stick together. The way to do it is this. Tap on this guy a little bit. Here and there. Key spots. Until it starts to want to move some. Don't get frustrated with it. You do not want to ruin this. You do not want to burger this thing up. <laughs> oh, it's hard to explain some things for me. Okay, you ready? This is a spring. <laughs> the idea here is to have washers that fit inside of there, inside of the diameter of the spring, so that when this bolt is seated, it seats sooner, therefore causing less preload on the spring, which will in turn cause the clutch lever to require much less pressure to pull. I've heard as much as you can go is 2.4 millimeters and we use a micronomer and what we're gonna end up with is 
or 1.3. So we're going to actually shoot for 2.6. We're going to try that and just see what happened. We'll come right here. I'm going to place two. Oh, oh, Bonnie. Ooh. 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 Okay. <laughs> there we go. So this bolt returns into here, which we want to make sure that those washers rest in such a way that they do go inside of the spring and don't get bound up anywhere else. And this is going to cause that preload. So we're going to leave the ones that are done out a little bit. And we're going to go do all of them and then pray the clutch does not slip and it is very easy. So at higher RPMs, the risk is that you uh, your clutch is slightly engaged. So I wish we could have gone more like two, but we could not find any washers to suit that need. But we got 1.3s. That's all we could find. We got some 1.5s and 1.3s. We're going to use 1.3s and it's going to be 2.6 millimeters less compression on the clutch basket springs. Oh, let me see your shirt. Give a shout out T-Rex Racing. These guys are awesome. One of our sponsors. They are helpful, kind. Their prices are awesome. Uh, really, really, really awesome. And they're fair and they're really well built. They're right up there with Tour Tech quality and they're all made in America. And I just, I'm stoked to be on this journey with them. The cool thing of, the, of our relationship with T-Rex is that if you go shop with them and you type in Story Moto ADV at checkout, you get a 10% discount. So if you have a bunch of stuff to do, tons of bikes, so go check out all the bikes that they that they have parts for, aftermarket parts, and make your purchases, put that in, and save some money. Uh, one thing we didn't do is get a new gasket. Our gasket's in great condition. We're going to reuse it. I don't normally advise that, but I would clean up the mating surfaces as much as possible. You see all this right here, this debris. I kind of did this area. You can kind of see where it's a little better. Never use anything steel for that. We're using a just a plastic scrubby. We did it. Again, the 2.6 millimeters. Help us out too much. All we had, if not, we'll just have the opportunity to do it again. We are changing this bike to full synthetic. I am gonna go test it out. Yamaha XT250 clutch assembly spring. Ready to rumble. I was just share what we know and have learned. You know, rocking out the back. 98 is kind of garage. There's the training truck. Goes all the way around. Kind of bikes everywhere. It's anything. It's muscle going on the back. 10,000 hours, boys and girls. You can be the best in anything.